What's up YouTube? How you guys doing? I hope you're all having an amazing day. This is Lucas back again with another video for you guys and today I'm gonna be telling you why I am not vegan. We don't talk nutrition too much on this channel but anytime we have talked about nutrition in the past I've always told you guys that I really believe the healthiest diet you can follow is a vegan diet. Less meat, less dairy, more vegetables, right? More whole grains, more nuts, more seeds. I really do believe that following that diet is the healthiest diet you can possibly follow. So you're probably confused, right? If I really believe that, why am I not vegan? We gotta clarify exactly what vegan means. Really being vegan means you do everything in your power, right? Everything humanly possible that you can do to minimize the suffering and death of animals. That includes the clothes you buy, that includes the furniture that you have, right? Anything that you as a consumer purchase, you need to make sure that that is ethically sourced, right? That that's not harming animals. The truth is I don't follow all those rules to the T, right? I'm not an actual vegan, but it was four and a half years ago now. My wife and I saw a documentary called Forks Over Knives that we found pretty compelling. So I decided to try a vegan diet and see what happened. And to be honest, I absolutely loved it. One problem that I had, the first six months of our marriage, my wife will tell you, I would wake up all the time really congested. Um, pretty much every morning I was blowing my nose, I had a lot of congestion. And when I stopped eating dairy, I really attribute that to dairy. All my congestion problems went away. Um, I was able to breathe way more clear. Some of you guys are probably gonna say, I'm just lactose intolerant and maybe that's true, I don't know. But the point is, I felt some huge benefits when I did that. I know a lot of people who feel the same benefits when they stop eating dairy. At the end of the day, the reason that I tried a vegan diet and the reason I still try to follow a vegan diet to this day is not because of animal cruelty or to reduce the suffering of animals, even though I think that's really important and I love those benefits. The main reason I practice a vegan diet is for my own health. And I think there's a stronger and more compelling argument for veganism as far as health and fitness goes, as opposed to morality. I don't find the ethical arguments as compelling um, as a lot of the science that points to vegan diets being way healthier for people. Obviously the number one killer in the United States today is heart disease. Um, that's a huge problem. And the truth is of following a vegan diet drastically eliminates your chance of heart disease. Nutrition is extremely controversial because you could find me an expert, somebody with you know multiple PhDs, super smart guy, who would tell you that you need to eat meat, you know? And the truth is you could find another expert with just as many PhDs who would tell you that eating meat is bad for you and that eating dairy is bad for you. So the, the it's so stressful to try and pick a diet that actually works and there's so many different opinions out there. Do your own research, you know what I'm saying? Watch Forks Over Knives, watch What the Hell, those are compelling documentaries. And yeah, those are biased, those are documentaries about veganism, but then go watch some documentaries on the other side. Watch, you know, read some studies about why eating meat is healthy and why it's necessary. Um, and compare the information and see which one has more legit information. And looking at studies is great, but you gotta look at who funds studies. A lot of companies will fund studies to prove that their product is amazing, right? So if the dairy industry is funding a study on why milk is beneficial, don't be surprised if the results say, you should drink milk because it gives you calcium and it's good for your bones. Obviously, you know, it's in their interest for milk to benefit people, which is why they fund studies. Don't believe something just because you've heard it all your life, right? Maybe you've heard all your life that you need to drink milk to have strong bones. That might not be true. And the same is true for me, all right? Confirmation bias is a huge problem. We all wanna find sources that confirm what we already believe. Um, and like I said, about four and a half years ago when I started reading more about veganism and watched those documentaries, my mind was kind of blown because, you know, my whole life I had been taught one thing and, and told that, you know, these things are healthy for you and I found out maybe they're not. All that to say, the reason I'm not vegan is because if I go to my mom's house and she makes salmon and she makes me a salad and there's salmon in there, I'm not gonna pick out all the salmon. I'm just gonna eat it because salmon is delicious. And I know that when my mom cooks, like I said, she's super healthy. She's buying the most expensive, organic, wild caught stuff. When you eat meat, if you choose to eat meat, it's worth it to get the most expensive stuff, the free range stuff, the organic stuff, grass fed beef, if you're gonna eat beef, because that makes a huge difference. Processed meat, no question is absolutely terrible for you. Causing diseases, it's bad. All right, that's my honest take on eating meat and eating dairy, but what do I know? I'm just a dude with a YouTube channel. Do your own research. I think if your reason for being vegan is ethical, right, you find it morally reprehensible what people do to animals, which is pretty messed up, and that's your sole motivation for being vegan, then you'll probably be a true 100% vegan. But the truth is, I'm not in it for the animals, even though I love that less animals are being harmed because of the lifestyle I choose. I'm in it more so for my health. And I know if 95% of my diet is totally vegan and 5% is not, that I'm not gonna suffer you know, all the detrimental effects of having a meat eater 
diet. I'm sure some of you watching this are like, dude, it's no big deal. You can say you're vegan, but I, I would rather not. I know some people who say that and then like once they'll go eat ice cream, they go eat seafood and they'll be like, oh, I'm just gonna have a piece of chicken. And it's like, dude, you're not vegan. You know what I'm saying? You try to eat vegan. That's different than being vegan. So the reason I'm not vegan is because I know I'm not 100% steadfast to it. So I call myself plant-based instead. And I really think that following a plant-based diet or a vegan diet is the healthiest way to live. So that's just my two cents. A lot of you guys have commented and asked me for a video on nutrition, asking about veganism. And I was like, gosh, I don't know how to answer this because I know my perspective is a little bit different um, and I'm not like a, you know, a normal vegan or a true vegan. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Do me a favor, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this stuff. I know nutrition is really controversial, like I said. Um, do you think having a vegan diet is healthy? Do you think it's completely stupid? Do you think we need meat and we need dairy in order to be healthy? Um, but I really believe if you do some research and look at the studies, right? Look at peer reviewed research and look at who it's funded by, not funded by the industry, funded by non-biased scientists, just looking for results, just looking for data, just looking for facts. You will see that having a vegan diet has a lot of really huge benefits. It's worth researching, dude, because it's your life, all right? Health matters and what you put in your body matters. And at the very least, We've got to agree on something, so let's at least agree on this. Fast food is garbage. Drinking soda is garbage. It's bad for you, dude. Eat more plants. No, nobody in their right mind is gonna tell me eating more vegetables is not good for you, right? We can all agree eating more vegetables is good for you. And I think one of the reasons vegans are so much healthier than meat eaters is not necessarily because they eliminate meat and dairy, but it's because they eat a lot more vegetables, right? So no matter what diet you follow, try to eat more leafy greens, more fruits, more vegetables, more nuts, more seeds, more whole grains. That's the stuff that you really should be after in your diet. And the truth is consuming a lot of red meat, a lot of eggs, a lot of dairy. I mean, listen, look at the state of, of, uh, of our nation. The United States of America is dying. We're dropping like flies to heart disease. And like I said, the research is pretty clear that people who follow a vegan diet, I mean, you just almost completely eliminate your risk for that stuff. So do some research, stay woke. The videos have been a little bit slower. So sorry about that, guys. I will definitely be posting a training video next week but uh hope you guys enjoyed this video i really do if you did give me a huge favor hit the like button that helps my channel out a lot remember guys work hard stay focused never quit peace out